This is a good map of population density in the U.S. And this is a bad map of population density in the U.S. Why is that? Let's look at the first map again. It's made from these little hexagons called H3 cells. And I like this map not just because it's mesmerizing to look at, but I think it gives you a more fair picture of where people live around the country as compared to this second map. This map is made from U.S. counties, and it looks kind of similar in places like the Northeast, but other parts of the country look very different. Los Angeles and Southern California in general is much more prominent on this map with hexagons than it is on this map of counties. Now, why is that? If we look at LA County in detail, I, I think it's clear. LA County is full of empty space. We have all of these vast swaths of desert and mountain land that are basically unpopulated that bring down the population density of the entire county. Uh, and that means that this map of population density by county is showing you almost as much about how they drew the county lines as it is as about where people live. And I'm interested in where people live, not so much in how they decided to carve up the country into counties. That's why this map of hexagons, I think, is the best way to see population density. So for the last few years, I've been working on an app that lets you make and publish maps like this. It's not quite ready to be deployed to the public just yet, but if you're interested in interacting with these maps and eventually making your own, please follow QSA for more. Thanks for watching.